Hi, my name is Sunday. In this video, I'll be talking about the federal government plans to concession Nigeria airports to unknown companies. Their plans to give away our Nigeria airports to unknown companies. No one knows who they are going to give it out to. Concessioning it or giving it to people to start managing it. So that is their plan. Meaning Nigeria airport will no longer be managed by the federal government but unknown company. Who knows maybe it might even be China. Who knows? It says from Ibadan to Lagos, aviation workers protest planned airport concession. So the aviation workers are protesting concerning what government has said because they are about to concession to give away Nigeria airports to unknown individuals or to unknown companies. No one knows. It says labor urges federal government to desist from plans to concession major airports. So they are warning the federal government to desist to stop to stay away from concessioning major airports to unknown individuals or unknown companies. So that is what the federal government is about to do or they are plans to do. They are about to concession to give away our airports so other people to start managing it because they say they can't manage it any longer. So before we get deep into it, first if you know you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe and make sure you click the notification bell so whenever I upload any new videos or information, you will know. Now, let's get into it. It says the airport include Motala Mohammed International Airport. Lagos Airport is about to be given away. Then, Nandi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja, Port Haikot International Airport, and Mala Aminu Kanu International Airport. So, these are the four major airports that the government is about to give away or to concession to other people or private individuals or even private companies. No one knows who they are about to concession it to. That is the big problem or the big question on ground. We don't even know who they are going to concession it to. It might even be China. China might even have hand in it. And other private wealthy individual, all of which themselves might even have some percentage of which no one will know of that will be given to them secretly. It says, according to them, without second thought, that's the people that are protesting, according to them, without second thought, we reject airport concession. Nigerians reject airport concession. Concession privatization and sales are the same thing. Whether it's called concession, whether it's called privatization, or whether it's called sale, all are the same thing. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. It says, and these four airports of Kano, Abuja, Lagos, and Portacourt are the hub of Nigeria aviation. The four major airports in Nigeria. That's what government want to give out to private individual or give out to private company. Who even knows? Maybe even some countries like China, e.g. China. Nobody knows. So Akali, who is also the public relations officer of Trade Union Congress, a canon state, alleged that the concession was planning to sell the terminals, car parks, and toy gates. They were planning not just to hand it over. But they were also plan to set some kind of things inside so the terminals, then car parks, and also toy gates, which generate over 65 percent of sector revenue to the concessionaires. So that is what it says. It says under this agreement, now look at the type of agreement our government want to make. It says under this agreement, the concessionaires, after two years, have the right to sack you if not satisfied with your service. So the people that they want to concession it so, the people that they want to hand over our airports to, it might be China, it might be any kind of private companies, those people that we take in charge. So the government said they are tired. They cannot finance our airport any longer. So they want to give it to any worthy individuals that can take care of it and also finance the airport and its activities. So these people that they will hand over it to, it will lies in their power to sack whoever that is working, Nigerians that are working. It might be a China man that they want to concession it so, then that China man has a right to sack any Nigerians that are working in that place if he's not satisfied with any Nigerian worker. After two years, they in that contract, in that concession contract that our government is about to sign, 
after two years, after two years, then whoever that they have concession needs to, that they have hand over it to, the key, the key of our airport to, then that person has the right to sack Nigerians that are working in that airport, if they are not satisfied. He went on to say, he says, so, even if you have spent 20 or 30 years there, it is as good as you have spent them in vain. That said Akali. It is as good as you have spent them in vain. Because under two years, whoever that our government are about to concession our airports to have rights to sack whoever they want to sack if they are unsatisfied with them. And then probably if it's been concession, maybe Lagos Airport, Motala Mohammed Airport is being concession to a China man. Then that China man, after sacking a Nigerian man, before you know it, it is Chinese face that will be seen on our terminals. It is Chinese face that will be seen on our airports. It will be Chinese faces that will be seen on our airports that will be managing the affairs of our airports. Not just managing it, maybe doing one thing or the other. Why Nigerians that are there will not have rights to do one thing or the other. If they are unsatisfied with you, then they can sack you. According to some report I heard, the government is about to concession it for 25 years. 25 solid good years. They are about to con They said they want just to lease it out. They want to concession it for 25 years. Then after 25 years, we belong back to them. So they want to give it a private individual for them to use it to make money. So that is where Nigeria is heading to. Nigeria is going gradually. The government are concessioning different things to different bodies of different individuals. Of which they know they have their courts. They have their percentage. That is the thing. They have their percentage that will be going secretly and privately into their accounts every month. So that is it. They have their percentage, but to the detriment of the society. But to the detriment of the masses to the disadvantage of the masses, to the disadvantage of the ordinary Nigerians. So they don't care. For 25 years, they know they will not be around any longer. So they want to quickly do whatsoever thing that they want to do. But they are saying that they are doing it to help the aviation industry because of the COVID-19 that have hit it hard. So they want to give it to people that have money that will be able to fund it because the government is out of fund. They can't fund it any longer. So let me read this to you. He added that the planned conception of the airport also has security implications, particularly now that the country battles different challenges. He says you want to sell airports to companies we don't even know. We don't even know whether it's China or Russia or any other private individual. We don't know who you are selling or you are concessioning our airports to. Of which, before you know it, they will be allowing different things to pass through the border that will cause security implications to Nigeria. So it says, when they are parts of our borders, they are part of the security metro. When they are part of our borders, airports are the entrance into country. When they are part of our borders, so they are part of the security metro of every country. When you sell it to people, when you concession it to people, they will look at their profit and not the security implication. So they will look at the gain. Whoever that is coming in from anywhere, because they are the sole owner, they are the people taking charge of the airport, they will allow such people to enter. So they will not they will not be concerned about the security of the country, but they will be concerned about the profit or the cash that they will made from whoever that is coming through that airport into Nigeria. It says they could allow for import of weapons so long as they will make profit, Akali concluded. They will allow even weapons to be imported into Nigeria through our airport that will be concessioned to them without you knowing because they are not the one taking charge of the airport. Because of profits, they could allow it. Our own security, they will care less about it. So this is what our federal government is about to do. They are about to concession our airports to private individuals or private companies. Or oh God knows. Even to China, nobody knows that will bring security implication. That they will even take charge, controlling whoever. They say after two years in the concession, after two years, they have right to sack Nigerians from there. They might even bring in their own people. 
If it's Chinese man that they concession on it all, before you know it, Chinese faces will be on our airport controlling and doing things in the airport. This is what the aviation minister said, that the reason why they want to concession, these are the reasons that they have just explained. It says, the minister of aviation, Mr. Hadi Sirika, has disclosed that the federal government has concluded plans. He even said this from his mouth, that the federal government has concluded plans, not that they are just, not that they are planning it. Not that they just started planning. No, they have concluded the plan. Meaning, it's gone, it's gone. Protest can't stop it any longer. It's gone. Protest can't stop it any longer. So, he said they have concluded the plan to concession all its 41 airports across the country. They have concluded the plans. All the people that they want to own concession it, I believe they have signed the contract behind closed doors already they have concluded the plans already my dear they have concluded it it says of the 41 airports located in the six geopolitical zones of the country five are international airports cited in lagos Kano, portai Kot, abuja and mandiguri five major international airports now sirika who spoke on monday at the public hearing of revenue projection for 2021 to 2023 paper organized by the senate joint committee on finance and national planning emphasized that the need to properly fund the aviation sector informed government's latest move to concession the airport the need to properly fund the aviation sector. Now, the government said they are tired, they can't fund the aviation sector. They can't supply for aviation sector. They can't finance aviation sector. So that is the reason they want to give it out, concession it, give it away to people that can fund it properly. So that is their reasons that they are concessioning it. He said every single agency in civil aviation is so critical that we need to fund it. And because we understand the nature of this business, that was why we have now introduced the concession of our airport. Introduced, mark that word, introduced. Past tense, they are now introduced, not just they are introducing it. They have done it behind closed doors. Everything will be signed and sealed. It's just saying it for the public to know. Everything will be signed and sealed. They have introduced the concession of our airport. Say we have not done the outline, done the outline business case. We are not going ahead for the procurement to concession the airport. Everything will be done. Protests cannot stop it. Youths cannot stop it. Nobody can stop it. Everything will be settled behind closed door. So he says the reason is simple. And that is because this government, the APC administration, is social democratic in nature. Wow. He said they are social democratic in nature. That's the reason why they want to do it. Meaning uh, they don't want to leave it for it to be unfunded so that it, things, it will not be bubbling. The aviation sector will not be moving fine. So that's why they want to give it to wedding men, people that have money, that have cash to take care of it. That is the reason. He says it does not want to sell national assets. The government does not want to sell it, but they want to concession it. So selling it and concessioning it, what are the difference? They don't want to sell it, but they want to concession it, give it out in form of a rent to people to take charge of it for 25 good years. Then they become the owner for 25 years. That's it. They become the owner for 25 years. They can sack any Nigerians that they are unsatisfied with. So that is it. They are giving the power authority into individuals' hand, into wealthy people's hand, into other countries' hand. Easy like China to take charge of the aviation sector in Nigeria. So it says it wants, meaning the government want to keep the assets within the people. We don't want to sell it. We want to keep the assets within the people. But we can concession them and improve them to make them better. The government can't make them better but they want to concession it, give it out to other people to make it better for them. What a failure. They can't make it better. They want to give it out to people to make it better. So that is what our government, Nigerian government, is intending 
to do. So they want to give it out to other people to make it better. See, we are very sure that when we do that, we will improve the revenue of the nation. You are very sure, not the revenue of the nation, the revenue that will be entering into the account. The revenue that will be entering into their personal account, that is what they are very sure about. They are not concerned about the revenue of the nation. They are concerned about the revenue, the profits that will be entering into their personal account. That is what they are concerned about. That is all about this conversation thing. He said, so we are in difficult and challenging times. And we do not have solution to it. So they are admitting they don't have solution to it. Nigerian government, federal government said they don't have solution to aviation problem. They don't have solution to it even as advanced countries are spending huge amounts of money to support civil aviation business. The government, because of the challenge of funding, has not been able to respond to civil aviation requests and civil aviation funding like other countries have done. Like other countries. Other countries did not concession their airports. Other countries did not concession their aviation sector. Like other countries, they funded. Other countries funded their civil aviation. Other countries are funding it. But our government said they can't as other countries are funding it. But every time, they are looting cash. So that's the reason why they want to give it to whoever that can fund it. And at the end, they have their own gain. Not to the gain or profit of the nation, but to their own profit. But to the detriment, to the disadvantage of the nation, of the masses. So, Nigerian government is about to concession or its major airport to whoever knows, God knows. So thank you for watching, thank you for listening. Please like, comment, and also share it to others as well. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe. And when you subscribe, make sure you click the notification bell so whenever I upload any new videos or information, you will know. Thank you, and God bless you. Bye.